Hello everyone and welcome to another Design of the Week. I hope everyone had a great summer and is ready for back to school. I don't know about you other moms out there, but I'm ready for the school season. This week's design I've entitled Ladybug Picnic. It's a very fun and cute design to do. I've incorporated some layering technique and we're also going to be using a little bit of the Miji pens. So please follow along with me and let's get started. The first step we're going to do is paint our nail two coats of this OPI gargantuan green grape and let that dry really good. You don't have to use this color if you have a nice light green color that you'd like to use by all means go ahead but I wanted something a little bit light in the background so that our ladybugs would really stand out. So any of your favorite green colors will do. We're going to be using this week plate from the T-Series T41 and the design we're going to be focusing on for the background are these flowers right here. So we're gonna stamp those in white first of all on the nail. Grab your white stamping polish. So cover the design with your white polish like this. Scrape, roll, check it, and I'm gonna start down at the bottom of the nail and just go right across. Okay, so as you can see, I'll just move my plate there. Uh, it only covered part of my nail because the design wasn't super long. So if you have long nails like me, just go over it one more time and stamp the part that doesn't have a design on it. Depending on the size of your nail will depend on how many times you have to do this stamp. So I'm going to paint it again. Scrape. Roll. And then I'm just going to line up where I left off there and just go right over top of the nail to get the other part. You want to cover the whole nail with the white flowers for our background. Okay, make sure you're cleaning with acetone polish remover in between each stamp. Make sure you're cleaning your stamper and anything that gets on your scraper. Our next step we're going to be doing our ladybug and I'm using the plate M30 and it's the one that has all sorts of animals on it. I'm going to focus on the ladybug right here. I hope it's not too much glare for you. I've tried to cover up my big plate here. You're going to take your black stamping polish. Okay, and we want to sporadically put the ladybugs on. We don't want it to be too busy on the nail. So you can choose how many you want to put on. So we're going to put the black polish over our ladybug like that. Scrape. I'm going to use the small end of my stamper so I can place it a little better. I'm going to start down at the bottom of my nail and I'm going to go over in here in the corner kind of on an angle. Okay, just like that. And I've chosen to do about three ladybugs per nail. And of course, to make it easier and faster when you're doing your own nails, I would do each step all in a row. So paint your nails green and then do all the white flowers and then do your ladybugs. It's just easier than doing it each nail at a time. Okay, so I'm going to paint my second ladybug. And I roll my stamper, check it, and then I'm going to go over here, kind of in the middle of the nail, as you can see, right there. Okay, I'm going to clean one more time, and I'm going to do one more ladybug. Okay, and I'm going to put him right up in the corner of the tip of my nail there. Okay, so as you can see, I've got one, two, three ladybugs. So as I said, we're kind of layering our design. So we're working from the background up. So we've got our great green color, then we've got our white flowers going on, and now we've got our ladybugs. The next step is to add some color to this, and that's where the Miji pens come in. This is what they look like, and there's a whole bunch of different colors that you can get. This is just regular nail polish, and I have used them in other videos that I've done. The great things about these is it is regular nail polish that you can paint your nails with, with just a regular brush. Okay, and then we've got this great tip where you can draw lines, you can squeeze out little dots, and I'm going to show you what we're going to use it for today. When you're ready to squeeze your Miji pen, I always do a little bit on a paper towel to start off with in case there's air bubbles, because what happens is you'll go to squeeze it on your nail and you get a big huge blob and it'll wreck your design. So before you start, squeeze a little bit on a paper towel, which I'm doing here off to the side, okay, and you're ready to go. Now, how this works when we've already stamped a design is we're just going to lightly squeeze and tap 
Okay, and I'm not gonna go over the black dots of the ladybug because we don't wanna cover those. So I'm just gonna kinda go around them like this and I'm barely squeezing out any of the color because you don't want too much of a blob on your nail. Okay, and as you get used to using these, you'll find what works for you. But you really don't need a lot. You just wanna get a little color on the nail. And I find when we do this, it actually makes it look like a sticker and a little bit 3D and I think it gives a really nice effect. So as you can see, I'm just lightly squeezing and tapping all on the inside of my stamp here. And this can work for any outline stamp. Okay, just like that. Now, when you're done with your Miji pen, what you're gonna do is just take a little bit of nail polish humor and just clean the tip and that way it'll be good for the next time you use it. And put the lid on pretty good. But we're not done yet. We're doing our last step now and we're gonna use the yellow. So same thing, make sure you squeeze it to start with on a paper towel to make sure you don't get any blobs. And we're actually gonna dot the middle of our white flowers here, make them look like daisies. So you're just gonna squeeze the amount you want for how big of a dot you want. And I'm not typically doing all of them, I'm just doing some of them to add a little bit of color. Maybe this one here. I think that's good. Now I could do that one and I could do that one but I think I'm just going to leave it as is because I'm happy with how that looks. But you can judge and figure out how many you would like to do. And then make sure you're cleaning that off with some nail polish remover on the tip there. Okay, and seal it really good. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Just make sure you finish up with a great top coat. Make sure there's lots on your brush and you're only go over, going over your design once so that it doesn't bleed. I hope you enjoyed watching this design and I hope you give it a try and I'll see you next time. Happy stamping everyone.